We're now on to section two of the 2015 KCSE maths paper. This section consists of eight questions, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Um, we're told to answer any five questions and each of the questions is worth uh, 10 marks. So the total for this section is 50 marks. So let's start with um, question 17. This says three partners, Amina, Basire and Karuri, contributed a total of 4,800,000 4, shillings in the ratio 457 to buy an 8 hectare piece of land. The partners set aside a quarter of the land for social amenities and subdivided the rest into 15 by 25 metre plots. So um, we have sections A and B of this question. So let's start with, um, and each of sections A and B are worth five marks. Let's start with section A, which says, and A part one says, find the amount of money contributed by Karuri. So uh, I think a good thing to do would be to um, highlight or to underline um, the parts of the qu of the um, information that were given, which are relevant to this um, first part of the question. So we're told there are three partners who contributed a total of 4,800,000 shillings in the ratio 457 to buy an 8 hectare piece of land. So um, we're told they contributed, it, they contributed money in the ratio 457, which means that um, this four refers to the amount Amina contributed, and I'll put an A here for Amina. The five contrib the five sorry um, is the amount or the proportion that Bosire contributed. So I'll put a B here, and Karuri contributed um, a seven, a portion of seven over what's this? So nine plus uh, plus seven is. 16 so 7 16th was 7 16th was contributed by Karuri so we know that now because um we know that it's 7 16th because 4 plus 5 plus 7 is equal to 16 so they divided um the total amount that they would contribute into 16th and Amina contributed 4 16th or a quarter Basiri contributed 5 16th and Karuri contributed 7 16th so we know that the total amount that um, or total amount of money contributed by Karuri was seven sixteenths multiplied by four million eight hundred thousand shillings. You don't you can work you can do long division to work out this uh to work out the answer to this question. But since it's a calculator paper, all you have to do is to put this here. So I'll highlight it into your calculator. So I'm going to do that very quickly now. 7 divided by 16, which is 0 0.4375 as a decimal, and then I'm going to multiply that by um, 4,800,000. And that gives me, so the answer I get, I'll move this over here so we've got a bit more space. So the answer we get for this part is uh, 2.1 million or 2,100,000 shillings is the amount contributed by um, Karuri Marks. Um, the next uh, question is the number of plots that were obtained. So uh, we're told that the partner set aside, I'll highlight this in a different colour from the first point, um, the partner set aside a quarter of the land for social amenities and subdivided the rest into 15 by 25 um, uh, plots. So let me highlight that quickly. And I'll use a different colour pen to work out the second part. So um, if, if, uh, if a quarter was set aside for amenities, that means that um, three quarters was left to be divided into the 15 by 25 meter plots. So that is three quarters is divided into the 25 by 15 meter plots. And we're told that in total we had eight hectares to begin with. 
So to find out the number of hectares that were used, um, that were subdivided into the 15 by 25 meter plots, we're going to do 3 quarters times by 8, divided by 4 is 2, 2 times by 3 is 6, so 6 hectares um, were subdivided into, well kind of like, so 6 hectares um, is the number of, uh, is, sorry, is the amount of land that was subdivided into the 15 by 25 meter plots. So hectares is a unit of um, area. So, and right now for the 15 and the 25, these are two dimensions. So we're going to multiply 15 by 25 to find out in meters squared what was the area of each of the plots. And then we're going to do have to do a conversion between hectares and meters squared. So um, area of one plot is equal to 15 times by 25. 15 times 25, we can quickly put that into our calculator. And what we get is 375 meters uh, squared is the, uh, is the area of one plot. And we also, this question also requir requires us to understand um, how to convert uh, meters squared into uh, hectares. I'm going to write this this conversion rule in orange so you can see it a bit clear. So one uh, one meter squared is the equivalent of um, naught point naught 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 one hectare. I'll write hectare a bit clearer on the next line, hectare. Okay, so knowing that we're told we can convert what we have here, um, 375 meters squared into hectares. And to do that, we're going to have to divide it by the number of decimal place, the number of decimal places one was moved that that we was moved here to get to from meters squared to hectares. So we've moved one, two, three, four decimal places, and four decimal places means ten thousand. So we need to divide this here by ten thousand, and that gets us when we divide three. We would want to divide three hundred and three hundred and seventy-five by um, ten thousand. We get 0 0.0375. So that is in hectares um, the area of one plot. To find out how many plots, how many plots uh, we ended up with, we obtained, we do six divided by 0 0.0375. So I'm going to do this just here, but in a different colour so you can see it a bit clearer. So 6 divided by 0 0.0375 and you can work that out on your calculator as well. That comes to 160. So the number of plots is 160. So we're now on to section B of question 17 of the 2015 KCSE Maths Paper 1. The question reads, the partner sold the plot at 50,000 shillings each and spent 30% of the profit realised to pay for administrative costs. They shared the rest of the profit in the ratio of their contributions. Calculate the net profit realised. So, um, to answer this question, we need to go back to the previous section to um, work out um, how many plots they sold because we're given the price each of the plots was sold for, but not the, the not the total amount that all the plots were sold for. And um, we're also told that uh, the partner spent thirty percent of the profit realised to pay for administrative costs. So I'll highlight that as well. Thirty percent for administrative costs. They shared the rest of the profit in the ratio of their contributions. So um, we're asked in B part 1 to calculate the net profit realised. 
So the net profit realised is the profit um, that they had uh, after um, they'd paid for administrative costs. So we, we can go back to our answer for um, uh, A part 2 and we know that uh, the number of plots was 160. So let's make a note of that. Uh, 160. And to find out the, t the profit that they achieved after selling each of the plots before paying the administrative costs, that's 160 times by 50,000 shillings. We can quickly put that into our calculators. So that's 160 times by 50,000, which is the cost they sold each plot for. And we get for that 8 million shillings. So 8 and uh, 6 zeros. But then we're told that they spent 30% of the profit to pay for administrative costs. So if they spent 30% on administrative costs and a whole, so this 8 million is 100% of the profit, then what they would have left is 100% take away 30%, which is 70%. So to find out uh, the net profit, that would be 70% or 0 0.7 because we know that a percentage can be represented as a decimal times by 8 million and that is equal to um, 8 million times by 0 0.7 we can put that into our calculator and we get 5.6 million or uh, 5 million and 600 thousand shillings um, always remember your units when you're when you're um, answering a question like this, so B part two says find the difference in the amount of the profit earned by Amina and Bosire. So we need to use uh, this answer that we obtained in the first part, and we also need to recall the ratios um, from the previous section because we're told that they shared the rest of the profit in the ratio of their contributions when it came to buying the land, and we're told that in part A. So we're told in part A that um, the ratios in which they split um, the contribution was four, uh, four to five to seven. So that was four, five, seven, and Amina was the four, and Bosire was the uh, five. So that means that uh, the amount that, and we know that um, these ratios can also be expressed as fractions. So for Amina, that would be 4 over 4 plus 5 plus 7, which is the same as 9 plus 7, which is 16. So that's the same as 4 sixteenths. And for Basira, that's the same as 5 sixteenths. So we know that um, the amount earned in profit by Amina is 5.6 million times by 4 uh, over 16, which is the same as a quarter. And the amount, so this is the amount earned by Amina. And the amount earned by um, Bosire is the same as 5.6 million multiplied by 5 over 16. So that's the amount earned by Bosire. And we can, um, and let's work out what these are and we'll write, I'll write them quickly here. So uh, for Amina, it's 5.6 million multiplied by 0 0.25 or divided by 4 either way you can put it into your calculator you'll get the same result and that comes to 1.4 million or 1 million 400 thousand for Basire we have 5.6 um, million uh, multiplied by five divided. Sorry, this is supposed. To, I've written down a six. This should be a. This should be a sixteen. So that's um, multiplied by five divided by sixteen, which is um, one million seven hundred and fifty seven hundred seven hundred and fifty thousand. 
So we take this here and we take this here and we find the difference and that comes to the difference, let's call that D, is equal to um, 350,000 shillings. That's the difference um, that they earn. So we subtract this number here from this number here and that gives us this amount here, the difference that they earned. So that's um, the whole of question 17 answered.